My name is Marvin X Files, aka Mr. Sexy Dad Hat On, as if I coach Little League. And today I will be doing a review of the first three episodes of Invincible. Now, me, after watching the trailer for this, I was hyped. I seen blood, guts everywhere, everywhere, and like it had caught my attention. So I seen the first three episodes. And this show is created by Robert Kurtman. He's also known for doing The Walking Dead. And me, I never read a, a damn Invincible comic. But in that trailer, I was impressed. And that is what got us here. Me doing a review on the first three episodes. Now... I really like how Robert Kurtman, he he shows us the path that a hero walks, like their career of saving people. And he gives us the good and the bad. And that is what I like about this show. He's very bold because he doesn't gloss over the death over the death of the freak civilians. No, he actually revealed that to us. Civilians are getting gunned down, limbs chopped off. It's it's very good to see. Marvel and DC Comics do not give us that. It really gives us the dark path that. Uh, that a hero has to go through and I really like that about this now our main protagonist is Mark and his, his hero name is Invincible and and he's a teenage boy and he's also a hero so he tries to find some type of balance doing this so this I would have to say is a mixture of Superman and Spider-Man. It's just smashed into one. And that is Invincible. And me, I love it. I like it. But uh, Invincible, he isn't my favorite character in this. Um, he He's shy. He doesn't know how to use his powers. And I'm like, huh? You're... You are Omni Man's father, uh, son. How can you not know how to use your powers? He isn't bold, and like I'm like, what the heck? You have all of this power, and you're letting these people die. I didn't like that about about his character, and also, and what, and we get a ripped off, discounted version of the freaking Justice League in this freaking show like dark man and freaking uh and who else it was some other characters flash and like a wonder woman and like it, it made me laugh like okay cool so he was so he was inspired by justice league spider-man and superman it shows in the characters so i'm like all right that's tight i love it now um my gripe with this show is that um there's no type of character development um i only like the characters for their image and nothing more um i wish that i would have gotten more into their personal lives and like who they are i wish they had explore that more they only focus on the hero and that is where it comes up short now mark he just isn't doing it for me invincible he just isn't doing it for me but i do like but but me my favorite character is omni man i really like him he's strong he's confident and um and and it's just that mystery behind that character that I want to uh, know more and see it. So that is the only reason. The only reason why I'm a tune in for episode four is because of Omni-Man. 
I want to know uh, the history of his race, the the Benjamin or whatever they call it. I forgot, but but I'm only sticking around because of that character. Nobody else, man. And um, I didn't like like uh uh uh. I forgot the guy. He throw things. I forgot his name, but he was trash. He was very trash talking. He was just a talker. He wasn't tight at all. He would throw like objects and stuff. Like he was trash, man. It was a lot of uh trash heroes. But um overall, man, um Omni Man is my favorite. And they give us a freaking fr <laughs> a freaking discounted uh hellboy and like from image comics and that was tight to me that was very dope and it also touch on on things that that are happening within our society that we live in today and that is what i like about this show it has it has more cons than pro this show and that is what bothers me the first three episodes it was a very rocky start um i had high expectations and after watching this show it freaking shot him down it freaking shot him <laughs> down a lot but overall man um i would have to give this show I would have to give this animated show a C. A straight out C. It was mediocre. But I will stay tuned in for episodes four until it ends. And uh my name is Marvin X Files, aka Mr. Sexy Dad hat on as if I'll coach Lil League. If you don't got that X, that stamp, it isn't real, it isn't authentic. Marvin X Files. I want to know you guys' opinion about this. And I'm bugging out because me, I think that this show is, is it's a C show. Two fingers. Peace out.